me that their food is empty. Hi. Good morning. I wanted to take you on a garden tour today. Garden tour? Guest starring the banana melon. Come down here. Come down here. Come down here. We are sitting in the middle of the garden at 6 o'clock in the morning. Because this is the only time of the day it's not 105 degrees. So. It is hot and we are dealing with pest pressure. We're dealing with plants that are exhausted from the heat. Uh, you will see my roosters are having a crow off this morning. Our little, our little layers, I think there's two roosters in there and they've been in a competition. One of them's not very good at crying. They're in a competition with Reginald. This has definitely been a learning season. One is starting out with the most healthy plants you possibly can before you ever put them in the soil, especially if you're going to transplant. I'm finding out this season that there are certain uh, species that the cucumber beetles are more attracted to. I've been fighting rabbits and so um, that is something I'm dealing with right now is trying to figure out how I can keep the rabbits out of the garden. We're working to get the bottom 18 inches of our fence lined with hardware mesh to hopefully keep them out. Now the other problem is we already had bunnies in here. So one just jumped out. There's another one. What am I supposed to do with this? And with already having bunnies in here, I also have to figure out how to get them out of here and figure out where they're hiding. So that has been an ongoing struggle. You're gonna see I have drip lines. I've added more drip lines in because of this heat. I'm finding some of my drip lines do not. And maybe if you know how to fix this, some of them will put out maybe the first 10 feet really well with the water. And then after 10 feet, it's just, minimal and so the plants at the end of these 30 foot rows are not getting watered like they need to so i know that i need to put in my real drip, drip irrigation system maybe i can have that done by fall um, so i still have all this broccoli in here we just moved the cows to the back last night because we're getting closer to calving so this is the good news we we have this broccoli i am going to start pulling the broccoli because here in the fall i am definitely planting more broccoli and we should actually get broccoli <laughs> so that's something that's going to happen like i said these benny kadimas um there's one back there that's ready um over here they're hiding i saw the we've got so many good wolf spiders in this garden. I'm so excited. But yeah, these are all the Benny Kadimas. So for me, that is a melon that will get planted again in the future. Uh, my onions are still in here. This, I have not seen as many bees. I will say that. I've not seen as many bees with the heat. Um, so I don't know if that's normal or not normal. This heat to me is not normal. It's rude. Um, but we're getting a lot of, as you can see, we're getting a lot of uh, flowers on this one. So this may be one that I will keep. I Obviously, I've let it go a little bit wild. I don't know if you can even see this whole right here is this one tomato plant. These are the yellow pears. So of all my tomatoes this year, that's done the best. Um, all of this, all of this. So... I don't even know. I don't even know what this is. I don't know that I've gotten anything off of it. I've got a Rutgers right here, which has put all of, you know, three tomatoes out this year. So like this one, I think I'm just going to come on in and trim it out. It's just not making it. I need to harvest my basil. Um, obviously, it's time for a kitchen day. This is that damage from all those uh, hornworms that we had last week. These are hornworms. See that baby? This is just literally just a handful of what we found 
we waited way too long to come out here. And this one's a little bit, it's, we'll see. I, I'm not fully set on keeping anything. I have plenty of seeds and I'm not against ripping some of these guys out. <laughs> oh my goodness, Reginald, could you be any louder? These guys are like, treats, mom, treats. They know what it is, mama brings some treats. So getting tons of these eggplants. Um, loving, I literally, I made so much eggplant parmigiana that for three days I had breakfast, lunch, and dinner eggplant parmigiana. Um, I need to figure out, I think it, it may be these, there's one that's not, I don't know if it's the Black Beauty, it almost seems like it's not as tender as the others. The others just kind of melt into your mouth when you eat them, but I feel like that one, not so much. Again, my basil, I need to harvest that. Um, the Benny Kadimas are just coming out everywhere. So I, they're loving this heat, which tells me that like they're meant for this. Um, the peppers, I harvested a lot of peppers here recently. Uh, so that's kind of empty. Look how big this guy is. Holy moly. My, my asparagus, I'm really excited about this asparagus bed. I didn't think this was gonna work at all. So I'm really excited to have asparagus. Um, I have about decided, despite all my efforts, this is gonna go. So um, there's just too many squash bugs in here. And I just feel like I got too far behind and now it's just not even healthy plants. So like I said, these white squash, you see, here they are. Um, I'll harvest the last of these and then come in and pull up this bed and make some amendments. Even my sunflowers, which you would expect, would be doing amazing between the grasshoppers and just like absolute destruction. So they're going to be coming up. The okra has been right up there with my eggplants. I've had okra almost every single day. Um, I have not frozen any of it, which would be smart. Also, picking it before it's ginormous would be smart. Uh, this plant has made a weird okra. I have to show you this. Weird little okra. But like I said, some of them I have let them get too big. We are saving some seeds on that. The tomatillo plants are going to come out. I just... For... Again, I don't think these were the healthiest of plants in the first place. I waited way too long to put them in, so that is on me. This is my little Mad Hatter pepper plant. So, this guy, you see we've got ants, so that's another issue we're dealing with. And I'm not showing you this to be like, oh, poor, poor you. I just want you to see, like, you are not alone. There's, I don't know if you can even see them, but there's tons of squash bugs on that. Fun fact, if you squeeze a squash beetle and the juice gets in your eye, you will develop pink eye. It's not fun, it's painful for about four or five days. So I recommend wearing goggles when squishing squash bugs. Benny Kadima. I don't know if you can see through here. Probably not. That is a banana melon right there. And this has gotten so dense, which is my fault. I overplanted. So one thing I learned with the melons, don't overplant. They're going to take over. Good miss, Shelly. Look at this. I just need to get out here and start harvesting. This is ridiculous. I, I guess I miss these. It's been so hot. When I come out, I'm like, quick harvest. So banana melon, banana melon in the back. Benny Kadimas, that dark one is a sugar baby, but those have not been quite as prolific. They are growing, just not quite as prolific. This is a melon bed. Again, peppers. You can see a little pepper in the back on that back plant. Here we go. Benny Kadimas, lots of Benny's. This is a lettuce that's trying to go to seed. I don't know if you can see that right there. Um, I do have lettuce in here. I've got some more little banana melons growing in there and, and they look healthy. I have never seen the kind of grasshoppers that we had this year. Just, they're ginormous. So he 
here is that squash. I came through last night to get some of the eggs off, but then I just got overwhelmed and quit. Um, that's my caserta squash. It, it's, I'm not getting a whole lot right now. It's not like it was in the beginning of the season. Um, I mean, they're so confused. They're just laying their eggs on anything they can touch. So, here, more of the okra. I need to get... The sunflowers even are just like, I don't know that these are getting enough water down here. This is one of those soaker hoses that I'm concerned is not um, delivering like it should be. Dealing with ant issues. I suspect that they're bringing aphids in and I need to deal with that. This little thing is so sad. This is where the cucumbers were, and I've pulled those up. I'm keeping this watered. I'm coming in and putting in some plants that are going to help support the cucumbers and protect them from the bugs. So some deterrents and some... Um, I'm going to come in and put some green beans in here to put some nitrogen back in the soil and then add some compost and just amend it a little before we come back in and add... Um, you see everything has curled. This is just, it got hot so fast that the leaves all just started curling up. My daughter came out the other day and picked some sunflowers for the bathroom. It was so sweet to walk in and see. Those are my favorite flowers, so to walk in and see them in the bathroom. Sugar baby here and here, down here. That's a weird banana melon. I feel like probably not getting enough nutrition is why it's looking that way. Um, this is the giant banana melon that we are going to harvest today. Big yellow fruit. Like that. But you see these have gotten very, there's been a lot of pest pressure. The Delice de la Table, which I have not been able to eat one that's been ripe because that seems to be one that they really, really like. This is that Delice de la Table that I'm telling you about. And you see, it has just been under attack. Well, my assassin beetle, you're a little late to the party, my friend. A little late to the party. Right there, big guy. So, we'll see, but I'm not, not super hopeful at this point. What you doing, girl? There are some lettuces in here. I don't know why you're in here. She's, she's I'm looking for the bunnies. Looking for the bunnies. Another banana melon. So we'll get a few of them. I feel like for my first year growing melons ever, we've had a pretty good harvest. Um, this is just the backside. That's a jalapeno plant. And I actually, Miss Mara, I harvested a whole bunch of jalapenos while you guys were on your vacation. So, um, when y'all get back, I need to bring them over so you can make some of your delicious pico with the spicy peppers. So in my green stock, I definitely have some salad going, which with all the heat, that's been pretty incredible because everything else is trying to go to seed. <laughs> but strawberries there looking good. I think what has been the saving grease here has been shade in the evenings. I planted a bunch of flowers in here. I'm just trying to get some, some flowers going for our pollinators in the fall. Over here, see, all sorts of wasps. I can't even tell you. I went on and added more corn to this bed. There's little corns coming up over here. There's little onions planted. And maybe those are garlic. I think I planted garlic in here throughout. That's radishes. I'm actually just gonna cut the tops off those here and when they come up and let them rot in the ground. Um, these are our Big Mac pumpkins, which are actually looking okay for two seconds. 
and then the green beans that the bunnies haven't found yet because I think it's in this raised bed, it's confusing to them. So excited you're going to help me harvest our first banana melon. My dad loves banana melons. He grew up on banana melons. This is my first year to grow them. I heard of them last year. I was very excited to grow them. All right, so here we are. We're going to get this guy, this big old baby. Um, like I said, I've got holes down here where I know my bunnies were. first banana melon. Sounds a little bit hollow in there. We'll see. I am super excited about this. It actually smells like cantaloupe, so we'll let you know. Uh, the problem with being tall. My sister asked me to video this. We've never seen a banana melon. It actually does, it smells like a cantaloupe. It looks like a cantaloupe. It's super sweet. Bud, will you grab me a spoon? It's just in a different shape, so it's kind of weird in that way. Frank you -all. I did not refrigerate this. It does, it tastes like a cantaloupe. You wanna bite? <sighs> I'm here with my really short son. <laughs> Come down here. Come down here. Come down here. <laughs> Do you know what a cantaloupe is? Uh, it's cantaloupe. You thought those were mangoes yesterday. <laughs> like a cantaloupe. That, that tastes just like cantaloupe. Awesome. I'm gonna just sit and eat this for lunch and refrigerate the other side for Daryl. So one melon who will eat. It's not morning, Mom. It's bedtime. Bedtime. They are ready for snacks. Balloon on the 12th. Y'all, I'm going to be 40 tomorrow. I'm going to be old. Say hi, May. Hi, Belle. Hi, Reba. Uh, <laughs> Juniper. Girl, you mess. Nutmeg. And Hershey. Yep. Y'all are so beautiful. Did y'all see that moon? It's bright. Oh my goodness. It's a bright moon. You see snacks. Do you see snacks? <laughs> Girl, are we gonna have a baby tomorrow? I need a baby. Hey, so what's your dad doing? Here's sunflowers. 
I'm filming the sunset. It's so pretty. What's in your What's in your hands? What? Where'd you get those flowers? From my girlfriend. Oh, what's her name? Huh? <laughs>